You may have heard a lot about the respiratory and pelvic diaphragms as part of your core system, but you also have a vocal diaphragm composed of the laryngeal muscles, the vocal folds, the glottis, and other surrounding structures that are a part of your entire core system and help to regulate pressure throughout your trunk. These structures in the vocal diaphragm serve as a passageway for air moving into and out of the trachea and lungs and change depending on whether we're inhaling or exhaling. For example, when you cough, the glottis initially opens as you inhale, then closes briefly to increase intra-abdominal pressure, and then opens again to push that pressure out and expel whatever needs to get out in the cough. The vocal, respiratory, and pelvic diaphragms all work together for efficient breathing, postural control, and force generation, and the vocal diaphragm initiates this coordination from the top. Try this. Tilt your chin up and say, ah, and notice how it feels and what the force and quality of the sound is like. Now tuck your chin down and do the same thing and notice. Now place your head in the middle and see how your projection, voice quality, and the power of your voice feels. Stacking the vocal diaphragm over the respiratory and pelvic diaphragms is one tool you can use to help you facilitate and manage pressure throughout your core system. We don't want to be afraid to move outside of the stack though, as our lives are never completely stacked, but this awareness can help you regulate pressure more efficiently when you need it, like during heavy lifting. And it can also provide you with a different awareness of your body and space. So don't forget about your head and neck position when you are taking yourself through a movement or strength training practice. Give it a try and read the caption for more.